Hi, I'm Jeff Bova, music producer and composer. Grammy-winning composer. From LA. And I'm Carol Heider, feng shui expert. International. From Minneapolis. Jeff and I have created an album called Harmonize Your Home, released on Sounds True, the world's foremost publisher of new age and spiritual books and music. It's an album based on feng shui principles and the five Chinese elements and will balance and harmonize your home. Yes, using sound and ancient Chinese musical principles. What do we want? We want to promote Harmonize Your Home to a global market. And build a platform for a series of albums based on these principles. If you help fund this groundbreaking work, you'll see we have some exciting perks. We have CDs, books, Skype calls, mentoring, and an advanced copy of our newest project soon to be released. The most exciting perk is that we will come to your home and do your own personal feng shui and sound treatment. So where does the money go? We already have the album, distribution, and our newest product done. We need to hire our promotional and media team to help us introduce Harmonize Your Home both locally and globally. Now watch how we harmonized an actual home by combining the elements of feng shui and music. I want to just say to you that when I first came into your home, one of the things that I noticed right off the bat was this entry, this, the, your, your foyer. Okay. Um, now in feng shui, foyers are like a landing place where okay. you come in and you can like, you know, catch your breath. You're now in the house. The thing that you've got going on here is you've got a lot of stuff pulling in lots of directions. Okay. So, you know, we have the stairway, we have a hall, we have a room, we have a room, we have a room. Wow, it's like you don't, you know, it isn't restful here at right. all. It isn't, and, and you don't have, you know, a lot of things here, which is a good thing, but it's, it's really pulling in so many directions. But I'll tell you the thing that will really help anchor this space, because okay. you've got room for it. First of all, I'd get a round rug. Okay. And I get a little round table, set it here, and you could have silk arrangement or real flowers or something that brings you in and you have a moment. All right, so let me just ask you a few generic questions. Yeah. So, do you sleep okay? Pretty much. I mean, I have kids, a pet, you know, a cat and a dog, so. Okay. If I can keep them out of the room, yes. You do. I and and what about your okay. husband? Does he sleep okay? He's a not so great sleeper. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, so here's some things I'm going to suggest. This is what we call a vision wall. Okay. Because it's when you, when you lie in bed and you look there, that's your vision. Now you'll find this interesting, but you should not have pictures of your children in your room. Really? Really. Mm -hmm. You okay. can have them anywhere else, but this is a private place. Huh. And you could have your wedding picture up. Yeah, you get so used to being in that uncomfortable place, being yeah. slightly uncomfortable feels normal as opposed to right. what it's like to actually really settle in and relax. Okay. Yeah. 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 So Carol, just wondering in terms of the element that we would be needed, just having seen sort of patterns of the house, what could we do or in terms of a solution vibrationally? In terms um, of I think that because we're near the front of the space <laughs> and that front area is um, in uh, what's called the career area, which we'll talk about, that is a water element. Mm -hmm. um, another area that's of concern to them is the kitchen area, mm -hmm. which is um, really does well with water. Okay. So, um, and then of course the bedroom area is all about that yin experience of sleeping and dreaming, which is another water element. Right. I really think that water is a great element for you to think about in right. terms of the music. Okay, the music and the sound, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Maybe in a place we could start, we could maybe start in the kitchen and I could do something and create a uh, a tone, a working space, a sound in the water frequency. That would be fabulous. We'll do that, and that would be that would be an E. Yep, that yeah, would be that great. Would help align. Yeah, yeah. Align the vibration. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Vibration impacts matter. According to Feng Shui principles, a space can get out of balance by attuning it to a desired state or frequency. We realign it and allow its occupants to benefit from an environment that better supports their well-being. The blend of music, science, and East Asian philosophy provide the platform for which the music is composed. I think 
you know, over time, it's, what I've learned about feng shui and um, certainly our experience with Harmonize Your Home is that it, it isn't like, you know, you wake up one day and, oh my God, my life is different. It's like it's a very beautiful and gradual shift where you go, wow, I suddenly got clear about that or I suddenly feel much more at peace about something. Yes, I want to slow the tempo down for them symbolically sure. yes. and do a very slow evolving, you know, it's a water. It's like the relaxation of watching just a gentle pond or, mm -hmm. or a gentle stream. Yeah, I suppose on, as if they can, I, I'd suggest to them on a daily basis mm -hmm. to play the music, even just let it roll in the background. Right. It's like... Or play while they're gone. Oh, exactly, exactly, which is was the principle of Harmonize Your Home yes. and why that was, uh, mm -hmm. that works so well. In um, a few weeks or a few months, they're, they're, the effects of what has happened here and their feng shui appointment and the music is that it'll be subtle. And that's how it should work. It should, there should be some subtle changes you can integrate and then a few more subtle changes you can integrate. When you look back, you go, wow, a lot has happened. You know, we're bringing it into the home space in a more conscious way. Right. Uh, for a lot of people who may not think of it that way. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, and then in our sort of outreach of bringing this more out to the world is uh, using that as as a tool to communicate. <laughs> but the cat is saying, about time somebody came around and sorted this message. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>